So we have concentration here, time in seconds here. We have a reaction where there's a loss of NO2, that's this imperceivable green line right here. It comes from the top down here. So we're losing NO2. And then for the products, we're gaining two different things. One is an uh, imperceivable blue line right here that's NO, nitrogen monoxide. And another product is the gain of this O2, oxygen. So that's, they're both going up. You see they eventually start to level off. What I'm going to do uh, is just use this that I lifted from a textbook uh, to calculate the rates. And we'll see what that looks like. Um, so, first, let me write down the reaction. You could just draw this in general if you wanted to. Uh, but let me write down the reaction first. So the reaction we're dealing with is 2NO2 goes to 2NO plus O2. Okay, that's the reaction here in this little plot. Now what I'm going to do is practice calculating the average or general rate of reaction. So I'm going to create a little table. And uh, I'm going to have a couple categories. We'll have time. And then over here we'll have concentration. Uh, and the concentration's in uh, moles per liter, molarity. And there's three categories here. There's NO2, there's NO, and there's O2. So I really have kind of four columns that I'm working on. Now I'm going to read all these numbers off the graph. Uh, I'll give you a little example. I decided to do this for 100 seconds and 200 seconds. So two times that I'm going to find the slope for each uh, molecule. So if we look back here, I just want to show you how this is going to work. A little difficult to see, but we've got 100 and 200 seconds. That all I'm going to do is attempt to read the points off. So 100 for O2 will be this point. Uh, 100 for NO2, NO will be this point. And for NO2, 100 will be right there. So I'll read those three off, I'll write them in the table. And then for 200, I'm going to do the same thing. So it'll be this point right there for O2 at 200. Uh, right there will be NO2. And right here will be NO. So those uh, six numbers I'm going to write down in that table that I had just constructed. Okay, so at 100, this is 0 0.0066, and uh, it's dropping over time, so it gets smaller here, 0 0.0047. The NO is 0 0.0035, this is gaining over time, it's a product, 0055. And for the O2, it's 0 0.0017 and 0 0.0028. So that one's gaining over time as well because it's also a product. So these are all from the graph that I had just showed you. Now, let's find the rates of reaction here. Uh, and I'll get more technical about some of our definitions. Let's go the change of NO2 over the change in time. Later, we'll put in the coefficients. Uh, but for now, let's just write it as uh, like this. This equals, so I'm going to use the first two columns here. It doesn't matter which number I take first. So I'm just going to do 200 minus 100 uh, seconds on the bottom. On the top, I've got to match the number, so 0 0.0047 minus 0 0.0066. That uh, turns out to be negative 0. Point, and there's a lot of zeros here, 1, 2, 3, I'm going to keep all the zeros and make it look ugly for a moment. Uh, one nine molarity per second. Let's do this for the other ones before I come back and add in the coefficient. And I'll show you uh, how things work. So you get a different color out. 
Let's do blue. We'll do the change in NO over the change in time. So this is one of the products. This is uh, going to take the time column, the first column, and the third column, the NO column. So again, it, again, it doesn't matter the order that I write the numbers as long as they are account both accounts for matched up. So 200 numbers have to go with 100 uh, with other 200 numbers. So the 200.0055 minus, uh, for 100 seconds, 0035. And that equals a positive 0 0.000020 molarity per second. So there's the second one. I'm going to do it uh, for the third molecule, which is also in the products. Get one more color out. Change now for O2 over change in time. Now I'm going to read the first and the fourth column. So again, I'll just do 200 minus 100. The 200 goes with the 0 0.0028. The 100 goes with the 0017. And that equals, again, a positive 0. Point point zero 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 one one oh shoot I missed the zero uh, zero okay one one molarity per second so there's four zeros and then two ones for the for the last one okay notice that these numbers are not totally equal especially the third one it's not equal to the first two Okay, so what do these numbers mean? This is, the first one is the rate, and see, because you get a negative answer, of loss or disappearance of NO2. So the negative represents loss of O2. The second one, see that it's a positive, and it's a rate of gain or production or appearance whatever uh, synonym you prefer, rate uh, of uh, gain of NO. So the positive means a gain, not a loss. And then the third one's also positive. That's the rate of gain of O2. <coughs> Now it's going to change a little bit when I put the coefficients in. 